fresh desk tutorial for beginners hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you all about fresh desk to help you make an informed decision if fresh desk is the right platform for you or not so let's get started first what you have to do is you will simply go to freshdesk.com and you will land on this platform right here Freshdesk is provided by Freshworks and it is one of the fastest customer service platform that allows you to do customer service. In here, you can boost your agent productivity and customer service experience. You can simply go ahead and create your own account. It has all the right options, tools and features for you. To sign up, you can simply go ahead and choose a plan or you can get your own free trial. Once you sign up, then you will be able to get your own dashboard. After the initial sign up, this is where you will get. This is our own dashboard on Fresh Desk that we get. On Fresh Desk, we will be able to improve our customer service, create contacts, companies, forms and more. So let's start. First, we get our menu right here where we have our dashboard, tickets, contact and companies, social, solutions, forums, reports, analytics, and admin. If I go to my dashboard right here, then this is our dashboard. And in here, we will be able to check all of our unresolved issue, overdues, on hold, and unassigned. I will be able to check my customer satisfaction, how many positive reviews I got, and how much I got negative reviews. Then you will be able to check your own progress in the graph form. So this is our basic dashboard. Then we have the tickets option right here. In here, I can go ahead and create a new ticket for my contact or a client. We can also create a new ticket from this option right here, which is a new option. And it is a quick add option that allows us to add a ticket, email, contact and company. Before we create a ticket or a lead, let's go ahead and create a new contact. Simply go to contacts right here. And now I can go to new go to new contact and this is where we can create a new contact to create a new contact you can upload the image then you have to add the full name of the client title then you have to enter their email address work phone number mobile phone number twitter or any unique external id you can also add their company right here and you can select from the companies that you have created then you will select the time zone language and we can also add different tags to our different clients and contacts so that we can organize them better. You can also add few notes in the about section. Once you have added all the information, you will simply click on create and your new contact will be created. So this is the contact that I just created. Now I can simply open this contact and you can see I can do a lot. For example, I can go ahead and edit this contact, delete it, merge it, assume identity, convert it to agent and more. I can also go ahead and create a ticket from this contact right here. Then we have notes, forums and archived tickets right here. So to create a new ticket for this form, I can either go to this option right here, tickets or go to new and go to new tickets right here. Or I also get the option to create a new ticket from here. So I will simply click on new ticket and this is where I will be able to do so. We have to add the contact, subject, then we have the type, if it's a question, incident, problem, feature request or refund. Then we have the source from where they requested this. Then we have status, if it's open, pending, resolved or closed. And then we also have priority, which means low or high priority. Then we have the group option where I can add billing, customer support, and more. We can also add description right here. So I will simply go ahead and add the subject, which is cannot sign up. Maybe this is the problem my client is facing. I will go to type and it's a problem. Then we have the source, it is phone. Status, it is open. And then we have priority. Of course, it is going to be high priority. Now I will simply click on create and a new ticket is created. So this is new ticket. I can reply to it. I can add a node, forward it or close it. I can also merge it with another if I want to. And to delete it, I can go with this option right here. Then we have the status which is open and we can also create different tags. When it comes to status and tags, it helps us organize our different tickets. This is the contact info. I can also go to show activities and it will show me all of my activities for this contact. 
Similarly, I can go to companies and create a company right here. Let's say that I want to create a new company. Simply go to new right here. Go to new company and then add company name. Simply add description, domain, health score. Then we have account tire. We have renewal date and industry. Simply click on create and a new company is created. I can also create a new ticket for the company. Similarly, I can go to solutions and check the solutions. If I want to create forums, I can create forums too. In forums, we will be able to check all of our activities, waiting for approval, your topic activity, spam, all categories and more. You can also add a new topic from here and add it to your forums. Then we have socials where I will be able to add my socials and actually do customer service on social media platforms using Freshdesk. We can provide customer service on Twitter and Facebook. Then we have reports and in reports, you will be able to check all the reports and stats for your customer service that you are providing. And this way, Freshdesk will help you create your own customer service and run a successful business. So let's check out the pricing plan for Freshdesk as well. So you will have an idea about the affordability of the platform. With Freshdesk, we get four pricing plans. There is a free plan which is going to be free for up to 10 agents and with this plan we get email and social ticketing, ticket dispatch, ticket trend report and more. Then we have a growth plan. This is for fast growth and it is going to be $15 per member per month and $18 if billed monthly. So if you're going with a yearly plan, then of course you are saving. Then we have a pro plan, which is good for high performance. And it is going to be $49 per agent per month if built annually and $59 if built monthly. Then there is an enterprise which starts from $79 per user per month and $95 if it is billed monthly. You can get your own trial for any of these different plans and you can see right here all of the different features are listed below such as automation, help desk report, custom SSL, customer fields, then they have dashboards, reports and more. Of course the features increase with the pricing. Once you have selected the right plan for you then you can simply get started. You can also customize this plan right here. Once you have selected your plan, then you're good to go. Freshdesk is a very reasonable platform and affordable. With the free trial, you can simply go ahead and check out any of these plans before you buy them. And you can simply go ahead and get started with a free version as well. Then there is an omni-channel, which has growth omni-channel, pro omni-channel and enterprise omni-channel. It is going to be $29 if built annually, $59 per user per month built annually, $99 per agent per month if built annually. So the, all of the features are listed below. You can simply go ahead and check it out. Get your own free trial right now on Freshdesk. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. I wanted to give you an overview and a tutorial for Freshdesk and help you meet your ultimate customer service needs. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.